Molly Chapman is 10 years old, and she's just finishing up fourth grade. And she, <laughs> she is the daughter of sales director Sherry Chapman, and she was 10 months old when her mom earned her first Mary Kay car. So she has been a Mary Kay kid for her whole life. Molly loves being active. She plays all kinds of sports, and she recently used her birthday money to buy her first Fitbit. Oh, you're wearing it even today. Ooh. She is creative, loves Pinterest, and can plan the best party around. So she definitely can plan a party. An interesting fact about Molly is that she has never, you should read this to my Andrew, had to move her clip in all of her years of school. Oh, that is quite a surprise considering the overly social family she comes from, and that's a true story. She is a hard worker, loyal friend, and is rarely without a smile. And this is the best part. Her fourth grade teacher recently said this about Molly. She is the most confident fourth grader I have ever seen. Oh, that's <laughs> At school this year, we had a WAC Museum project. If you don't know what that is, let me tell you. We had to choose an American hero from a list that our teacher gave us. Study that hero, then deliver a speech as if we were that person. In our speech, we needed to tell what we accomplished in our life and why we would be considered an American hero. My dad gave me the idea of doing Mary Kay Ash, and I got so excited. Since she wasn't on the list, I asked my teacher if I could do that, and she said no. I was so sad. I was so sad that one of my friends noticed. Then a boy asked her why I was so sad, and she told her. That boy came up to me and said, Molly, why would you want to be Mary Kay? All she did was make lipstick. That got me so mad, and that was when I knew I was going to be Mary Kay Ash. I got home, and my mom asked me why I was so sad. I told her what happened and she said she would not talk to my teacher but not talk to my teacher about it, but if I wanted to, I could do some research on her and send it to my teacher. My dad sent sent it to my teacher that night. My dad said that my teacher emailed back saying that after reading my letter, I could do Mary Kay Ash. I was so happy. Later that day, my teacher told me why she changed her mind. When she told her husband about the situation, he said, you need to let her do that. Mary Kay did a lot for the world of business, especially for women. I guess he understood business because he owns his own business too. I was so happy. And I hope that boy in my class listened when I did my speech. <laughs> now I'm going to share with you my Wax Museum speech on Mary Kay Ash, a true American hero. Hi, my name is Mary Kay Ash. I was born on May 12, 1918 in Dallas, Texas. My parents were Lulu Wagner and Edward Wagner. I was an only child. I grew up with many responsibilities at home because my mom worked a lot. I had to cook and take care of my dad who was sick. My mom always told me, Mary Kay, you can do it, and I grew up believing it. I had three children, Ben, Richard, and Marilyn, and they were all born in Texas. I married Mel Ash in 1963. After a career in direct sales, I was frustrated because I would teach the men of how to do the job, and they would get promoted over me. I knew it wasn't fair. I started thinking of the perfect idea for a woman. I thought, I think I have something here. I want a business that will let women be very successful. I want my company to follow the golden rule and to put God first, family second, and career third. After I told my, my banker and lawyer my plan, they told me I was crazy and that it would never work. They said to me, Mary Kay, you are dreaming. Yes. Yes, I was, but that is how it all started. We opened our business in a 500 square foot building in Dallas, Texas. 
on September 13, 1963. There were some days I wondered if we would ever get out of if we would ever if we would ever get out of Dallas, Texas. We are now in over 30 countries with 3 million salespeople worldwide. Because I chose God as my business partner, we were blessed. I received many awards, including being named America's Greatest Woman Entrepreneur. My favorite joy in life is seeing women come into our company as a tiny rosebud and then emerge as a beautiful rose. I had a blessed and fulfilled life, but sadly died on November 22nd, 2001, on my favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. I am Mary Kay Ash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to close today by sharing with you that um, when we talk about building a national area and you talk about achieving a goal of building a, a movement of women, and you talk about, oh, you want people to make a profit, you want them to earn money. More than that, I want this generation to have this level of confidence. And the only way they're going to have it is if we have it first. Mm -hmm. And someday Molly's going to grow up and she has been given, you have been given this incredible gift of leadership. And where else can she go to use her gift of leadership with unlimited earning potential, unlimited opportunity, a flexible schedule, the ability to put her faith first, her family second, and her career third. Where else can she go to make such a difference in other people's lives than Mary Kay? And if we don't build this national area, that culture doesn't get carried on. So when people say, how long are you gonna work at this? Until it's finished. Whatever it takes, we're gonna do it. This opportunity needs to be here for Molly, and then for Molly's daughters, and then for their daughters, and for their daughters. So we are so grateful for you to have our program so eloquently and to make us really make us really appreciate our opportunity. So thank you so much and we do have to give her to the people that want to do it.